Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to be taking a, an AMD 6990 video card, and we're going to be taking it apart so that we can take the cover off and the fan off and all the other components off, and then install a water block on top. So this particular video card is uh, manufactured by MSI, and I got this video card uh, about a week or so ago, and it gets very, very hot um, when I'm running the, uh, this, the, the machine under some heavy load like games or, or other graphic intensive applications and the heat dissipates from the front as well as the back and it gets very very hot in addition to it getting hot uh, this big fan here that spins it spins very quickly to cool both of these uh, graphics processors and you know here and here and it generates a lot of noise so by taking this apart hopefully um, and putting the water block on there, I'm going to have a much, much quieter computer and a much cooler running computer. So here I am about to open this beast and I hope I don't break it because if I do, I'm going to have to buy a new one. So enjoy the, enjoy the show and I hope I don't break it as I'm taking it apart. Alright, so the first thing I see is I see a bunch of screws here on the back. So I'm going to take them apart with the smallest screw that I have and then I'm going to put them on the table here in the same configuration so I don't lose the placement of any of these things. So let me take one of them off. That's one. see them. So I'm going to have to think about how to put them back. These screws are very, very thin and very small, but they're relatively easy to take off. So I'm saving the screws that are in the CPUs, or the GPUs rather, um, for last. And one of the things you shouldn't be doing is you shouldn't be using a screwdriver that's magnetic. Not a good idea for this type of operation here. So that goes on top here. One more screw here in the bottom. All right. And now, ooh, this kind of came right off. So that was easy. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is open up these guys. That oh, looks like this screw is a little too big. Okay. 
now I'm doing the other one. And this is basically the bracket, or these two brackets, um, hold the heat sinks on the other side in place. So once I remove these, the heat sinks will be very easy to remove. basically it as far as the card is concerned. Now what I need to do is basically open it up. Wow, it's stuck pretty nicely. So screws out? I do. What am I missing? And it's possible I'm not sure if I have to remove the bracket or not so let me remove it just to be on the safe side. I have a feeling this is not going to matter, but just to be on the safe side, I'd like to remove all the screws. There's two very, very small screws here around the side, so I'm going to remove those as well. There's one. Oops. And here's the other. bracket should come right off. Let me take these display port covers off. This should come right off. And as I thought, this didn't make any difference. <laughs> All right. So, the only thing left to do is to force it, which is not something that I want to do. But I think I will need to. So, all right, let's try it. It's stuck pretty good. There aren't any other screws here, so I wonder what more I need to do to open this thing. I took all the screws out. Yep, there are no more screws to take out. So. That means I should be able to simply lift this thing off. Oh, I wonder why it's not lifting. Well, I took the cover off of the crossfire cable, but that's not going to matter.
And the one thing I don't want to do is just, oh, there it is. Okay. Basically, it was just holding in place very, very strongly with the, the two GPUs. So, sorry that you guys had to sit here and watch me futz around with this thing. So the last thing we want to do is break the, the board. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can while removing this thing. So bear with me while I remove, there we go. Okay. Let me take this off. And there it is. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is the actual board with the two big uh, GPUs on either side and the two big heat sinks on this side. So let me unplug the power connector to the fan because we won't need this anymore. There we go. We'll rub the piece. And this is basically it, folks. Here is the 6990 without this gigantic fan attachment. So here it is. And uh, thanks for watching the video. So please subscribe to my channel. And the next upcoming video will be how I'm going to be connecting a Coolance water block to the 6990. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.